new point cloud options for Tecla Structures 2020. The point cloud now has the, the ability to show clash checks and improved appearance within the Tecla model. So the, view, uh, the visualization usability within Tecla has been improved quite considerably for 2020. Uh, firstly, the point cloud can now be rotated and repositioned and scaled in any direction that was not possible before. So now we can place our point cloud exactly where we want to in the model. So you've got the option for all the locations here, as you can see. Uh, you can also improve the quality and perception of the point cloud within the model by defining the size and density of the points themselves or in fact the thickness and strength of the colours within the point cloud. Uh, just be aware that DirectX must be enabled for this to work. So some really nice new viewing and manipulation options for point clouds. Um, it's also possible to visualize point cloud clashes. So if you, you put a point cloud within the model and it clashes on a Tecla object, then it will color code and identify that for you. And you can also have different height and height levels to, to identify the point cloud by colorization as well. The new point cloud options in 2020. As you can see here, if I turn on the point cloud, we've got the options now to place that point cloud in any XYZ position, simply by offsetting, adding the offsets here. So from zero to two meters, we can position that point cloud wherever we want to position it. You can also now see we can easily change the thickness and strength of the point cloud. And the more we zoom in, you can see this more defined. So if we change the density of the points, you can see we can make it more ghosting, or by increasing the density of the points, we can make it much more defined and stronger colors and a more realistic looking point cloud by simply uh, working with these sliders to increase the size and density and thickness and strength of the point cloud to get really realistic looking cloud options within the Tecla model. As well as this, we can also color code by the elevation, so we've got different elevations set up here, so different colour code defines then where the elevation of that particular point cloud is. And you can see here we can quickly jump from that back to the standard default colours. And we can also set up clashes. So here we've got a point cloud that drops on some Tecla elements. And we can colour code those, but anything within 200 millimetres is blue, within 100 millimetres is green and so forth. So easily colour coding and identifying point clouds that may clash on real Tecla objects. And again, we can also go back to the default colors quite simply by clicking on the different options.